Hi, and welcome to Owen J. Roberts Radio on WBZH The Buzz, channel 1370 AM. I'm your host, Nick Jancic, and here with me today is student body president, Colin Gray. Say hi, Colin. Hi, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have you here. So, as student body president, what's your connection with the school board? Um, well, as student body president, I'm, I'm actually given the opportunity to sit in on monthly school board meetings um, and deliver what's called the student report, where I basically talk for a few minutes about, you know, what the high school students are up to, and occasionally I'll throw in uh, middle school and elementary school activity if there's, uh, you know, really big things going on uh, in the rest of the district. So I, I'd say I get a, a pretty unique perspective as a student who's also allowed to participate to some degree in the, you know, procedures at these monthly meetings. I see. So you must have learned a lot from sitting in on those meetings. Uh, can you tell us some of the things? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the whole experience has, has been just a fantastic learning experience. Um, before I had attended any of the meetings, I was under the impression that they were they would drone on for hours. I had heard these horror stories about, you know, them being unorganized mm -hmm. and lengthy, but I was very, very impressed. Um, you know, after attending a few of the meetings, just I, I've never stayed for more than an hour and an hour and a half because they haven't run uh, more than an hour and an hour and a half under Mr. Stone's leadership because he, he runs them very, very efficiently. Um, they're very transparent with their procedures. They're respectful of one another. They're respectful of the opinions of community members who attend the meetings. And uh, it's just really cool to see how everything comes together in a meeting like that. Sounds pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> participating in these school board meetings, uh, has it changed your approach to student government at all? Um, I would say in some ways it has changed my approach to student government because uh, we're always trying to, to emulate the ways that things are run at the school board meetings in student government meetings here at the high school. So just sitting in at the meetings is a, is a great experience for me because I kind of get a sense for you know, how motions are passed efficiently and how you can recognize the opinions of students in the room um, while still, you know, running an efficient schedule. Um, and also, don't cut me off there. <laughs> uh, just sitting in the meetings, I've kind of realized how, uh, you know, receptive the administrators and school board members here at ONJ are to student opinion, because I thought before I had I come to any of the meetings, you know, that the student report was just something that you read. Um, you know, maybe I'd talk for a few minutes and no one really listened because it's not that important. But <laughs> um, it turns out that's like a lot of the school board members, that's their favorite part of the meeting because they're genuinely interested and concerned with what the students here at ONJ have to say. So that's kind of inspired me to, you know, motivate students in student government to uh, pursue their ideas and create change in the district because it's definitely possible with the leaders we have in place here. For sure. So tell me about your thoughts on the search for a new superintendent. Um, well, I, I think the school board's taking a fantastic approach with the new superintendent search. Like I said earlier, transparency is always paramount with this board. Um, they're going to great lengths to make sure that the public, uh, students, members of the community, teachers are all the information regarding the search is is public it's all on the school website very accessible to everyone and they actually hired uh, a committee a search committee from the CCIU headed by Dr. O'Brien um, and student governments actually had a chance to uh, talk with Dr. O'Brien about you know what we'd like to see in a new leader and I think that uh, I'm pretty excited about the, the person they're going to select because I think we have a, a good thing going. Well, we have to wrap it up, but uh, thanks, Colin Gray, for coming here and seeing us in the studio on WBZH The Buzz, channel 1370 AM. Uh, right. We'll see you guys next week. Thanks for having me.